Hi, this is Dee with Divine Needle, and this is the Age of Aquarius Spiritual Path Tarot Reading for Sunday, September the 7th, 2020, Day 80, AOA. You know, it's funny, um, the song Fly By Night made its way into the picture today. Very synchronistic, considering what the topic was right before that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Good Labor Day weekend to those of you in the U.S. Hope you guys are having a good holiday extended weekend. All right, let's get on with the reading. Overall energy for day 80. Overall energy. Okay, that was no mistake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting how it came out. What's our highest priority for day 80? Earthbound Devas need to know what's their highest priority. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah, I can feel the energy um, shifting. And it's definitely getting better. Definitely. Definitely getting better. And what do we need to be mindful of? All right. Wowza. Bottom of the deck, Hector. Whew. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Very nice. A good reading. A very good reading. All we got here, oh, yep, working together, <laughs> Archangel of Healing right there, nice, okay, underlying energy, the Hector, Five of Swords, let's see what we got for the Five of Swords, <clears throat> Hector was the greatest warrior of ancient Troy, and through that namesake, the Hector is the spirit of indomitable strength. But it is indomitable strength at any cost. The Five of Swords marks a defeat of your opponents by unfair advantage. The Five of Swords denotes an imbalance of power in a situation at hand. Heed also, the Hector is the spirit of that which, upon first impression, is predicted by all to be victorious, but who will end in defeat if you do not learn the important lessons the Hector is here trying to impart to you. Indomitable... <clears throat> Excuse me. Indomitable strength does not come from lording your power over others. It comes from using your charisma to sway others. So that's the underlying energy for Sunday. Using your charisma to sway others. Overall energy. Major Arcana. The Lovers. Mystery of the Covenant. Hmm. Key six. Key six. The lovers is the spirit of pairs. This is our internal binary. Solve et coagula. Dissolve and concentrate a maximum of the alchemist. The lovers portend the sacred marriage of your higher self and your ego. You are at a crossroads, and your next step is to choose between two paths. Key six appears to you when you must decide between instant gratification or delayed gratification. When the lover's card appears, it can also be a call to evaluate your interpersonal matters. In modernity, the lover's card might appear so that attention can be called toward a romantic relationship or the themes of Eros. So, overall energy for tomorrow... The themes of arrows. Highest priority. 
the joined one, two of cups. Looks like love is in the air for tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely. Two of chalices. In external alchemy, the joined one guides us to choose our allies. It designates an outer accord, but also an inner accord. In internal alchemy, the spirit guides us to unite our anima with our animus. This is the spirit of two becoming one and an omen of perfected love, love in all its divine forms. Abyssius abyssum invocat. Sea calls to sea, or the depths of me calls out to the depths of you. Do not neglect the relationships you cherish. So love is in the air tomorrow. <laughs> and the joyous, joyous one, ton of cups. Heck yeah. Looking like a good day tomorrow, guys. <clears throat> Ten of chalices. Keep saying cups, but in this deck it's chalices. Holy grails, to be precise. The joyous one is happiness we have earned. This is prognostication of spiritual fulfillment. Creati creativity becomes productivity, and productivity leads on a directed path toward contentment. The glyph, glyph etched upon the large chalice in the foreground, foreground is the emblem of the holy womb of Hagia Sophia, or holy wisdom. The Ten of Chalices appearing before you signifies the appearance of God the Mother. The rainbow across the heavens is an omen, perpetual success. The joyous one is an omen of fertility, and that which was in the figurative womb shall mature and ripen into great spiritual and emotional reward for you. When this spirit appears before you, it reflects back for you to see how along your path you have developed your wisdom, your intelligence, and your agape love. The Ten of Chalices is an affirmation that your learned skills, intellect, and acumen have matured. The Joyous One is the personification of wisdom attained. When this card appears for you, it's an affirmation from the Holy Spirit of your spiritual maturation. The card can also appear to remind you that you are complete, that your life and world is perfected and harmonious as it is right now. And that it's not necessary for you to pine for more. Bask in the blessings you've been given. So, spending time with your twin flame or soulmate tomorrow. Basking in that energy for sure tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> and... Archangel of Art and Grace. This is Archangel of Glory. This is the card of Adamai. Uh -huh. Also known as the King of Scepters. The King of Scepters is the Archangel of Glory who holds up the torch, beckoning you to pursue greater scholarship or cultivation of the arts. The Archangel of Glory is a divine teacher of arts and, and all forms of academia. This is the angel now by your side to facilitate success in artistic, literary, academic, or scholarly endeavors, appearing to you as a spirit guide for career success. Ignis Arum Probat, Fire Test Gold. Hmm. So learning. I know what that means for me. What are you guys learning about? Do tell. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know what everybody's up to. All the good fun. Let's be mindful of prepare for. Key 19, the warrior. Master of the mystic light. This is the sun card. Card of Leo. Mm-hmm. What to be mindful of and prepare for the sun. Yay! <laughs> Key 19, the son of the Magi, signifies competence and reciprocity. Here we see your consciousness expanding. The master of the mystic light appears to you when you are on the verge of confronting potential with reason and truth, through which you shall create goodness. Goodness is creation with purpose, arrived at through reason and truth. 
Here is victory in the battles you fought for your own independence. You've broken all chains. You've detached yourself from that which had tried to control your will. And now your light shines freely out into the world. The warrior is also the spirit of fighting to protect others, fighting in service. This is success and glory you achieve not for yourself, but so you can be in the empowered position to help others thrive and grow. This is the spirit of heroic acts. Inscribed upon the warrior's gloves, Liberatus Profundant Omnia Luce. Freedom floods all things with light, and Lucette Lux Vestra, let your light shine. You are now liberated and triumphant. You are liberated and triumphant and feeling your oats. Because <laughs> your inner child's out to play. Wounded warrior. <laughs> Very nice. Mindful of and prepare for the malaise. Nine of Sceptres. The malaise is the questioning of purpose and why we suffer. It is the wearing away of vitality and innocence. When we see too much suffering in this physical world, when the spirit of the malaise appears to you, engage in grand strategy. Summon all your power within you and direct it outward. The Nine of Scepters is the spirit of great strength. This is also the personification of malaise, reflecting back at you so you can clearly see, clear, clearly, see clearly, sorry, <laughs> your own feelings of debility or weakening health. This is the spirit of despair, pessimism, or cynicism. Do not reduce yourself to feelings of apathy. Feeling, feelings, and passions, even when they hurt, are necessary gauntlets to overcome so that wisdom and transcendence might be attained. Note the resilience of the figure in this imagery. The Nine of Scepters is a powerful key against stability, weakening, or despair. The malaise appears to remind you of the powerful defensive magic you are capable of conjuring to protect yourself and to revitalize what has been depleted. The malaise can be a sign that you need to take better care of shielding yourself. And it's interesting <clears throat> because the sun is a shield, right? Huh. Fascinating. So protection and shielding ourselves is probably what we need to be mindful of and prepare for. But in the meantime, spending time with those you love is important. Very important. And starting a learning process about something that education, academia based somehow for some of you. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic Labor Day weekend. Um, Sorry, I don't do the readings every day. Um, things are a little hectic here. <laughs> Everything's going great, though. Um, just extremely busy. But I do love you guys. Beyond all reason, of course. <laughs> Happy day 80. Try to remember. Have a good time. It's important. <laughs>